Hello, this is Dory, and I, I am with Prairie Scraps Chalking, and this is my helper. What's your name? Amy. She's 11 now. Yeah. We didn't go live yesterday. Why? Because my mom surprised me with... Uh, you speak up. Surprised me with a Zoom with a bunch of my family and my best friend. Right. So she thought she was going live. She had everything set out here and she was completely ready to go. And she's like, why are you on Zoom? I'm like, I don't know. Take a look. So we had a visit for your birthday. Yeah. With everybody. Does that look straight? I don't know. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do two projects tonight, I think. We are. We are. Um, the first one, we're finally going to get around to this autumn sayings. Isn't this the cutest? The top one says, fall is in the air. And the next one says, hello, pumpkins. Yeah. Then gratitude. Gratitude. And then gobble, gobble, right? Gather and gobble. Gather and gobble. At the bottom. Fall is coming, so I thought this would be a good one for us to do. And we're going to keep it super simple tonight. I'm actually just going to use... Um, a uh, rectangle, simple shape. I even got the colors out last night. She did. She picked up orange. Orange and green. Yeah. The papaya and sage, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting those colors now. Papaya. Papaya and sage. sage. Okay, do you want to open this up for me, the simple shapes? I feel like I'm going to struggle with that. And I will get this going. I think I want to stick with the top one. I like the... Falls in the air. Falls in the air. Or do you like uh, Hello Pumpkin? I like Falls in the air. Okay, so that's one we'll do. Now I need to cut a straight line. If you're joining me, go ahead and say hey down at the bottom. I love to hear from you. It's Thank you for joining me. We are live on Prairie Scraps Chalkin' on Facebook, and you can find me on YouTube on just plain prairie scraps and uh, just put all kinds of things up for our family but prairie scraps chalking is mostly our crafting stuff. Yep, I played piano. You played piano? Yeah. On YouTube? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. We got that one cut apart. I got it open. I got it open. That's why I gave you the hard job. <laughs> All right. There's so two. there's two in the pack, isn't there? And they're double sided. Yes, you could do them double sided. I actually think we might put a plain saying on the back. So then you could use this sign for fall, but then you don't have to actually pack it away. Do you have like boxes to pack away your fall stuff? I know you don't. I do. I have box, two boxes of fall stuff, and I take out the decorations, put up all my pumpkins. I love fall, so I have more fall decor decorations yeah. than any other holiday. Well, my 4th of July decorations have totally disappeared. Yeah. I can only find a few. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Do you want Somebody us? lost them in storage. If you're watching this on the replay, please put hashtag replay down below so that I can hear from you. Um, we're using a reusable silk transfer from Chalk Couture, and that is the one thing that I do yeah. helps us keep up our craft and habit, actually. Yeah. So if you're interested in getting any of these products, you can either message below, just put link, and I can give you a link for these pro particular projects. You can order directly that. I'll put it all in a cart for you, make it nice and easy. Um, if you have questions, you can message me. Hey, Denise. How are you feeling today? That's Aunt Denise. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's not sure which... about that. She's like, who's Denise? Can I figure out which one that is? Your Aunt Denise. Uh-oh, that must mean that Aunt Denise has to come and visit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> She has to come out and see us. We had all kinds of fun. I know that um, your brother has been coming up with new trips up in the woods for you to take you on. Do you remember those? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember where she was screaming up the rocky mountain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she 
come in. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again with us. Yes, that would be fun. You're yeah. always welcome to stay. We're in a different house, new house. Yeah. Um, I was thinking mm -hmm. the green and um, the leaves in this group. Is the in... In, in what? Green? Yeah. Okay. And then two orange fall into it. Oh, I think I'm going to object maybe. <laughs> That's pretty usual, right? Yeah. I have my own idea made up. For sure the green on the leaves. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> so put a little green there, put a little green there. And then I was... Yeah, I don't... I think I want to do plain orange on the is. Well, is in the... Is it a mosquito? Yes. We hardly have mosquitoes. It must be because Denise is in the house. <laughs> Did you bring us some of your mosquitoes to share? I think not. I'm going to do an ombre. You like ombre? Yes, I love ombre. All right. Ooh, even orange? Even orange. It's unreal. Even orange. This is bumblebee. Bumblebee. Kind of a nice color. Bumblebee. It's yellow. Yep, it's kind of a pretty yellow color. Put a little bit yeah. there, put a little bit here, My a little bit there. Because I like so scary. I, I like, like the yellow mixed in with the orange. Yeah, I I'm okay with yellow. I wouldn't decorate anything with yellow necessarily. No. And then also, this is our papaya. Papaya. Getting it's those nice little specks all over the place. Stop opening that in front of the trans on top of the transfer, and this one's brand new, so we're not gonna worry about mixing it up. So I'm gonna do an ombre technique. Put some orange up here, papaya, I should say, and I'm gonna do this all papaya. Can you put them on there? Put them on there. Okay, let's see excited. if we can. Excited. You're excited. Why? Because I love ombre. Here we go. We did all the other day. Okay, I think we do these right away. Oops. Nope. I'm already messy. Too many colors. No. No. There's no such thing. No. <laughs> well, I've already got my green and my orange. That's not good. Okay, so that I didn't want to do ombre. I just want to do it green. Yep. So we got that. And also the middle. Leaves. So this is just like, this is a chalk paste. It's water based. You just wash the transfers on these silk transfers. Yep. And you just wash them. Well, that actually kind of worked really well. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did. All right. A little bit of yellow in my green. Sorry. And then you just put it back in whatever you didn't use. If you can and butter toast, you can do this. You can, for sure. Ooh, <gasps> that was messy. Maybe that one's yellow. Because <laughs> that's right in the yellow. Okay, we're going to get some of it this. It wanted to be yellow. <laughs> yep, and I've got excess yellow for sure. So I'm just going to spread it that in there. It completely wanted to be yellow. Lots of yellow. Some of these will stain the transfer a little bit, but that's okay as long as you get the... The screen. The screen clean, right? Yep. I have a screen stain. You have experience washing. Yeah, she's been doing all my washing for me lately. Yeah. And then the final one, orange. orange. Papaya. Papaya. It's, I don't know. It's hard to remember to say papaya. I know. <laughs> well, I was trying to remember yesterday, if it was, or two days ago, whether or crimson was orange or red. I can't. I guess I don't know my colors very well. I don't I don't remember. Yeah. You don't know it either? I don't know either. <laughs> I'll take off that yellow there. We've got a lot of orange down here. We're just gonna spread it out and we're gonna do a little ombre here. So you can see what we're doing. Three different colors here. So you deserve one. 
Yeah, I usually do it really plain, don't I? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Here comes the trick, right? Yep. So we're just gonna smear the orange and the yellow. Ooh, that orange got really into there, didn't it? Yep. Orange and yellow together. Which it looks we'll take really some of this nice. Cut off and get that little bit. Looks really nice the yellow and the orange. Papaya and bumblebee look nice together. Okay, and then right in here we're gonna orange mix it in. Cheese. Papaya is taking over. It is. It was kind of thicker there. Yeah. But if you rub it up a little, and then I'm gonna use a different finger and do that green. Dry. Yep, but we're getting it wet. All right, really fast here. Hopefully this works. Let's get some from over here. So actually, I think it's going to blend in a little bit so that you hardly even see that yellow. Okay, we're going to pull. This is the best part, usually. We'll see how that goes, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Rainbow. Slow down. Let it dry. This one. Oh, and that leaked a little. Yep. That last little bit. It was the green. I knew that sage was getting a little dry. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it really pushed in there. I'm like trying to figure out which finger has green. I could press it in. Nope. That one. I might just take some water to it. Not very much. I'm gonna. I'm experimenting a little here. All right. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't smear it. Oh, oh, it did. It broke. All right. So I'm gonna. We'll set this aside for later, and Beth will probably wash it up for me. Just yep. put it in water and we have some board erasers. And I'm gonna, oh, could you go get me a Q-tip since we've got the bathroom door open anyway? I didn't see that. <laughs> We're negligent today. Beth's been busy sewing. Getting ready for your favorite, Denise. Fair. You should come for fair. Right? Only in three weeks. Three weeks. All right, I'm gonna leave that. I did pretty did you good want cleaning them that. Wet? No. You can't mix them wet. All right. I don't know why. There it is. Okay. Fall is in the air with an ombre. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I love it. And then you see that little smudgy there. We'll take care of that in a minute. So I'm gonna just take these and so I don't want all my chalks to dry up. We're gonna close them up. Hopefully we have enough. I'm missing squeegees. Somebody is a squeegee thief here. I have no idea. Probably in that pile over there or somewhere. Someone. Somewhere. Went, I don't know. I don't want to open up new ones either. And we can't keep track of the ones we have. Yeah. Ugh. This green is really kind of dry. Maybe you just take some water to it. I did. Did? Yeah. Really, you didn't. Weren't you watching me? Yeah. <laughs> so three weeks till fair. Mm -hmm. you, and the, you guys think your kit, pigs are going to make weight? Yeah. Got to tell Levi to go get the scale and weigh them to see where you're at. I don't. I think they're going to make weight. Because they were pushing their feet in. And the water. Well, and getting out. Yeah. The All right. Is here. So we're gonna work on this little smudgy. Sometimes better when it's dry. You're right. Sometimes I see you out here working on it. I know. That's a good little thing right there. Sometimes it just flakes off. That's not going to be the case today. And usually if you push it towards the letter, 
You know, I thought about this before. We should have waxed these boards. If I would have waxed it, that's what would have helped it. Come off. Yep. Orange is stain. a stain. So, I don't know. I ain't working on it, so why are you? That's not working. That's the magical tool, usually. Well, we might be stuck with that one. I that little goober. A little bit of water. It is chalk water soluble, so it does come off, but supposedly. But there are inks in it, so that's the issue here. So, not ink, ink, but chalk paint. The pigments, that's what I'm trying to think. What else are they doing? What else are they doing? Campers done too? Oh yeah, the campers. All right, so we're gonna set it aside. It's not too bad. I think if you don't know it's there, you don't know it's there. You see where I kind of got worked on that? I could maybe go back and put some light on there. The camper one? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a United States cut out. This was from Joanne Fabrics. It's kind of a smaller one. It's a wood decor and it was in their spring, summer. They put it on 70% off. So I think I, when I went and looked at it, I think I got it for $1.50. Yeah. $1.49. So I thought that this actually kind of reminds me of... Oh, she likes it. Oh, you are probably right. Actually, I, I was thinking about painting this one. Mm -hmm. Um, I was thinking about, now you interrupted me. I have no idea what I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking anymore. Um, oh, the, oh, the United, mm -hmm. it was part of the 4th of July decor. And they put it 70% off. So it was normally five, five ninety-nine. And I got it for a dollar fifty. So I think they're doing the wood frame. Huh? The no. wood frame. Oh. Right? Not with paint. Anyway, um I was thinking about doing I'm getting, this is the Waverly chalk paint. You can get it at Walmart. Um, I'm putting some, because it's also water-based, I like it to spread more evenly um, by thinning it out a little. And I've gone to just spraying right into my bucket because it's gotten kind of thick. Um, but anyway, I even though this was out for 4th of July, I did think it was really a 4th of July because I think it can go for camping really well, that people would want to hang this in their camper, especially, especially camping enthusiasts. I think I saw Denise was out camping a little while ago. Hmm. I don't know if she's frozen on or if she's saying anything and we're missing it. But, um, anyway... I thought this would be fun to make this into a camping hanging for the wall and something small like this is easier to take in a camper than taking some big picture or anything. And because it's kind of got that twine on there, it's easier to hang. hang. Yep, you can hang it anywhere. You could, And if you don't want to put holes in your walls in your camper, you can use a little free on hook to hang it up. I know when we go down the road, we often, I have pictures I can put up on the camper. Depends where we're going, but um, they usually all go away while we're traveling down the road. So Probably a smart thing to do. Because they bang around and they break when they're on the wall. Who's on there? Hey, Shayla. Thanks for joining us. I noticed that we kind of go live about the same time, I think. So thanks for joining me. Um, we're doing a little crafting here. I've got a, I can hardly see it because I've got it on white, but I've got this United States 
cut out. I got from Joanne Fabrics for a buck fifty at seventy percent off. And I'm starting out with a paint, chalk paint here. Visually paints, getting it white to give it some background. Did we do that other one? We did that Fourth of July one. Did we? Oh, I only whitewashed it, didn't I? Did I whitewash it or did I leave the the wood color? What one are you talking? The Fourth of July one that's hanging up in our living room. The other one that I did like this. I think you whitewashed it. Yeah, and I think I decided it was too light, so I'm just going all in on the white this time with the Waverly. Gotcha. So, good to see you. Say hey when you get on. Like I said, if you watch this on the replay, feel free to put hashtag replay, which is really fun too. Sometimes you just can't get on and people are live, but I always enjoy going back and watching people's videos on the replay. So, I'm using... Chalk Couture to do this. This part isn't. This is just regular crafting supplies. Um, and I kind of found Chalk Couture about three years ago. The company has only actually been around for four years. So it's kind of a newer company. And they put out high-end home decor things that you can make yourself. It's a DIY company, fairly new. And um, I used it for about a year and a half. I actually became a designer at that time. Signed up, paid $99 and got all kinds of great things in my kit for $99. And um, love, love the product. And then of course, you know, I made, I used it to do all my craft projects. So we, I think we've, we've just done like the Cottonwood Craft Fair at Christmas and then the Grangeville one at Christmas time. And so I like to do like con country slash farmhouse type of decorations. And I take things and paint them and reuse them, all that kind of stuff. Whatever I can find to paint, right? Mm -hmm. And anyway... I was trying to do lettering on my own and I've used my Cricut a little. Cricut I'm not really great at. It's a whole nother art, whole nother thing. <laughs> um, and I guess we should have done this first so it could dry, huh? Hmm. That was not good thinking. Hmm. Anyway, I, uh, I used it for the craft, I think two craft fairs actually. Yeah. And found that these transfers, they have such great detail and they look so perfect every time and they're reusable. So I can get like, they say seven to 12 uses out of each transfer. And I would say I'm more like, if you take really good care of them, get them cleaned up, I would say it's more like around 12 to 15. Yeah. But that being said, I have yet to throw one away, never. <laughs> And even then, you could use it as a stencil if you if the sticky goes out on it. But if you take care of it and put it back on the backers, keep your backers nice and clean, you're going to find these things last forever. So anyway, I really like it for craft fairs for that reason. So I never really told anybody I was doing it before. But now I decided while I was laid up this time, I had surgery a little bit ago, I had to do something. So this is what I'm doing. I knew I would want to craft and decided to go ahead and sign up again. And I got in with such a great group of ladies that I was so excited I needed to share. So anyway, like I said, it's still three years later, $99 to get in this company. It's only been around for four years. I've been using the products for three years and love every bit of it. I think we're going to call that good. What do you think? Yeah. So we painted that white, and I was going to put, you look tired. I think we still have, no, we, maybe we don't, I don't know, you'll have to look online. So the other way, you can just order things off my website if you want. Uh-oh, we're going to need a, oh, messy. Do you need a plug in? You need a plug in. Just to, you know, why don't you take that cord that's right there? And bring it over here. That might be there we go. That'll be smarter. We're going to cross our table with our 
extension cord. This is going to be loud for a little bit. Sorry about that. Just going to dry this up so nothing sticks to it. And now we're going to wax it. We're going to wax it so we don't make mistakes. <laughs> we're going to use our little camper transfer on this so that this can... Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want a United States? A little happy camper transfer. And then are we doing the word too? Oh, you know what we didn't get was... What? Paper towel. Oh yeah. Do you need one? Are we doing this too? Yep, and then I was going to put home across it from the same happy camper. Happy and camper. then this one. This says is where we park it to go with the camper theme. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Yeah. Can I go grab them? Uh, I don't think we have any in the house, do we? I'm pretty sure we do. Now all those tips I was picking are wet. I think we'll be going up there though. So I do want to put some wax on. Um, if you're using wood, you want to wax. So wood wax. Go um, for the paint. Can. Uh, I think I'm, do you think it would wreck my brush? No. If you use wax on it, it no. might. I don't think it will. Well, famous last words. I only use that. Black rock and blue grit. Yep. I, next time I'm going to grab it. Well, I can't make it out to our camper. My husband got... I even went needed, to the camper oh, he, today. He needed um, paper towels. He said he needed paper because we need it for the grill. It was, in the, it, it was in the cabinet. So I bought a four-pack thinking he'll take one for the camper and then... He took them all. Leave the rest in the house, and then we get out camping. <laughs> and we had four, five things of paper towel in our camper. Like we have extra room or something. A storage. So anyway, he's very well prepared. I did notice that in that weekend, he probably went through almost. Probably, I think he went through one and almost another one. I know. This is why I don't keep it at home because he likes to use it. I don't know why. Oh, I wish I had a red. Two reds. One that's not black. What are you doing? I wanna I need to buff it off. And that black one leaves black specks in the white paint and I don't like that. I think that's just removing it. <laughs> I have a wet wipe I'm trying to dry. Can you just go in there and get a clean up maybe? I'm trying to avoid getting, taking the wax off. And this is the rag I had pulled. It's a t -sh old t-shirt, but it leaves black lint in it so that works better if you use white so we'll get some oh look at that I think that's wax though that's all right all right get this buffed off a little bit kind of was a little bit too generous maybe with our waxing you don't need that much. You just want to make the wood service. So wood and wax start with the same letter. So you want to use, you always kind of remember that if it's a wood surface, you want to use wax. Next we're going to do this. Because one time we didn't put wax on something. We've done it a couple times because I'm always in a hurry. That's why. Yeah. I pulled it off and stuff came on me. Yep. Not only that, but it's hard to get off certain colors. All right, so maybe now I'll, I don't know if wax will, will it dry it, do you think? Or will it melt it? I don't know. I don't want this to be wet. Kind of a hot mess today, aren't I? <laughs> I've done a lot today. The other way you can join 
and have a fun time is we have a monthly subscription club. So you can join my club. And every month you get an exclusive transfer, a B-size transfer. It's about an 8 by 11 and a half, somewhere around there. I don't have the exact dimensions. Not that. That's an A-size. It's a B transfer that comes with the club membership. And it, um, you get that transfer plus three singles that met, coordinate with the transfer every single month in the mail for $19.99, and that includes shipping. So you don't have to pay anything else for shipping. It's a pretty amazing price for a craft club. So, yeah. oh, we didn't show what this was, these little bases. Oh, yeah. I forgot that. I thought we had one of these open. But we, no. We talked Look. about this once, didn't we? Yep. All right, so these are the little wood bases that go with those rectangles. Ooh, in the middle. Get that. Not in the middle. See? Is that cute? I don't. Huh? I said it's adorable. It's adorable. Okay. What color are you doing? I am going to do our little camper teal. Eee. What about the word? A tour teal. I was thinking black. There I go back to my... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, my reusable, very used. You use that like a... a lot. Because we like vintage looking campers. Yeah. I like that one. And this little one. one. Yep, I see that. This little um, transfer is actually, because the it's not the original camper transfer. It check uh, Camper trans the main transfer is actually really big. It's bigger than this United States. And you want to get this down really well so that nothing leaks underneath. That part that looks kind of clear, that's the that's silk there. So it won't it makes it so you can have nice detail. I watched a lady do a craft on YouTube the other day and she was doing stencils, like from Walmart, and painting them in and sitting there and holding them. And I'm thinking, oh, that is so much more difficult than just using our paste. All right, so couture teal we're going with today. And seriously, we're just going to butter it like toast. Yep. And it's super easy. That's the color that looks like the transfers and everything. It does. It's really hard to get off. Oh, hard to get off the transfer because you can't see it? Yeah. Because I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you use here because you just, oop, and I goobered already. There's my wet one. Whoa. How did you not see that? I don't know. I wasn't watching you. Clearly, I need to be watched. Now that I dried my wet one <laughs> for waxing, hopefully it comes, we prove, oh, oh see yes. how nice that came off? Oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> that made me very excited. So much easier. So lesson learned. Always use wax on wood. Yes. It's so much better. Okay. I'm just going to straighten it, it out so there's no. so easy. It did come off really easy. I always hear people say, oh, I don't necessarily do that, but I'm going to close this up, I think. Hope and pray that we've done it right. Get this out of the way. All right, we'll turn it around. Oh, there's still a little edge on that, but that's okay. Be careful, you can wipe it off once again. Yeah. Ooh, Isn't it cute? I love it. So cute. Love it. It's our little teal camper. I may go back. I don't know. I didn't want to make it too busy, but um, this little camper can you can put a little pendant going across oh, it. So easy. <laughs> yes, that was amazing. Waxing is the key. We're learning the hard way here. So goes to show you if we can do this, anybody can do this. So I think I think I have figured out this would fit here. I'm going to dry that up real quick, but definitely use wax. The wax that I use today is a Waverly Clear Wax. That's also from Walmart. I grabbed it one day. I just wanted to try it. That's why I grabbed it. 
But you, we have a wax as well, and it goes really far. You just use a little dab, a little dab will do ya. Um, for most projects, and then you just want to buff it off, like I was trying to do with tissue. If we got there though. Oh, there's a hide. This is a new tool for us. Yeah. I don't want to burn it. But I'm so pleased that that came off. I have so many problems on some of my projects. <laughs> Getting my little boofies off, so. Yesterday was fun. Yesterday was fun? Yeah. Is that because it was your birthday or because it just in general Wednesday, workout Wednesday is fun and mm, No, because it was my birthday. Because <laughs> it was your birthday? Workout Wednesday is not Say it's fun. your birthday. It's my birthday too. I didn't, um, I didn't uh, fuzz off that transfer because it's been used so many times. Well, this is a real pencil. I'm going to wear it. I'm gonna go straight. Might have to go up a little. So bit this little there. camper has little like add-ons where you can put little curtains, you can put a little pennant on it. Um, really cute. It's really cute, but I'm trying to keep this kind of simple. So if you're interested in this or the fall one, we are more than happy to sell it to you or ship it to you. Um. We may do that, that. We were going to do a plain saying on the back, so we'll do that another day. If yeah. you have something you want in particular done to it, let us know and we can do that as well. I think this is going to be too big for me. <laughs> All right, so this is Black Velvet. It's a pretty, least, pretty new can for me. Yeah. At least you're not like me and get all the way up. What? At least you're not like me and get all the way up the handle. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> mm. That does some projects. Yeah. That does so little bit too. Yep, we did the books. We'll have to do some more books, don't you think? Yes. Um I hold my breath while you're working. Do you know why? Yeah, because I I You make me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I'm really nervous about is ink. Ink. I know you're not nervous enough sometimes. That's the issue. Okay, here we're gonna pull. This is the best part about the whole process. Yes, yeah. the pull. Ooh. Is where we park it. Slow down, she says. Slow down. Where do we go with that camper? Do you know? It's over here. Okay. I might just put this. You right. handed it on. I handed it to you. I'm just gonna put it right on the back here. These I've used a lot. I've done t-shirts with these. I've done, yep. you did a Christmas present yep. with this one for dad on a, one of our boards, our framed board. We have some really nice framed boards. This one actually kind of feels a little bit sticky. Sticky. I'm going to it. It does. And I'm just overlapping a little, but I figured this would go. I don't need a lot of time. I don't need too much excitement yesterday. Ooh, I just did sewing all week. I did sewing a lot, yep. Working on 4-H, working on sewing. We had her zigzagging. On every piece. Every single piece so that all the edges are finished off and won't unravel. I don't know. I just don't ever remember having to zigzag all the edges when I did. Right. It wasn't a thing. But here they mark you down if you don't. See? Yes. Get in trouble for that. Which marker do you use? No, it's oh. you do get. You've always done it. Always me. So okay, I think we got it. Yep. You can kind of hear it. Sounds like a scream, right? When it's running across yep. it. All right, black does tend to be a little bit more streaky. And stained. Oh yeah, That's and stained. Okay. Nice. Ooh, I like it. You like yeah. it, huh? Yes. Up. Um, All right. Like Can you put that. it down a little bit? So. 
is home is where we parked it. See, I don't think we need any little doohickeys on it. No. You know? No. Do you like it the way it is? Yep. All right, so that is it. We made two projects today. We made the home is where we park it. I think it's really cute. Ball is in the air. There we go. Stay tuned. We'll be doing some more soon. Yeah. We definitely have plenty of projects lined up. We're going to be working <laughs> on it. Like I said, hey, if you want to check out my website, it's www.chalkcouture.com forward slash my name, Dory, D-O-R-I. And you can join my club there. You can also join my team and become a designer yourself. You get lots of products. And you don't necessarily have to be a salesman. You don't have to sell at all. The minimum actually is only $100 every quarter so okay. myself i can pretty much do my own minimums um and then so the club you can do you can join my team and you can just buy if you want if you saw something here that you really liked we have some great kits for around 20 dollars to do an entire thing it's really a lot of fun or join my monthly club where it's 19.99 you get something in snail mail who doesn't like snail mail so thanks for joining us see you soon